Heyo everybody, Haku here with 26 Jump Week Part 1. And uh, yeah, for this one we've got Tis Time for Torture Princess Chapter 108, Excuse Me Dennis That's Touching Me Chapter 31, Witch Watch Chapter 25, Ghost Reaper Girl Chapter 25, and Candy Flurry Chapter 15. And then for Part 2, gonna be doing Ayakashi Triangle Chapter 55, Sakamoto Days Chapter 34, Red Hood Chapter 6, Naru Chapter 5, and Blue Box Chapter 16. So uh, stay tuned for that one after this one too. And uh, not gonna do a huge big intro, I just want to get into reading the stuff for this uh, video. So uh, let's just jump straight in. Kicking things off with what is probably my favorite manga right now, Tis Time for Torture Princess, Chapter 108. Let's uh, get into it. I'm super excited because we had Inky, er, Inky? Yoki. Yoki in the thumbnail, and the first page when I click onto it has Inky and Yoki, who is like, I don't know, when you're to ask me who my best girl is this series, it's, pro it's probably torture. It's gotta be torture. Torture is, like, amazing. The best. Uh, but if you were to say, like, ah, second place or whatever, then, you know, I would say Inky is so cute. Yo Yoki is too. So, I mean, one or the other, or, like, both. But, yeah, I'm so I'm so excited. We get Inky and Yoki again. Though Yoki is the one that gets the attention a lot of the time, I feel like we have had basically no, in, like, over 100 chapters, basically no, um, uh, Inky-focused chapters, and that's a real shame, because she's great and I want more of her. Uh, Princess, tis time for torture. One of the countless unsolved puzzles of the world. Today's torture is a Rubik's Cube. We'll each take a cube, and then we'll scramble all the colors on all sides. After that, we exchange cubes. That's when the torture starts. Whoever makes all six sides a solid color first wins. And see, this is one of those things where you have no idea if Princess is going to be, like, super incredibly good at it, or completely bad at it. Sounds good. Is this really alright? Yoki seems pretty confident on this one. Maybe she knows the trick to solving it. Ha ha ha. I couldn't possibly, my good buddy X. As if. Of course I know how. I just learned the solution for the first time yesterday, so I practiced non-stop to memorize it for the torture today. It's a bit underhanded, but this is torture. No showing, er, no showing no pity or mercy. Yep, yep. Today's torture is yours for the taking. So long as you haven't forgotten about the solution, right, Yo-chan? Of course I haven't. It was only yesterday I couldn't possibly forget. I can't really make out what they're saying from here, but... They definitely seem to be plotting something. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I don't have a clue how to solve this, but I still have a plan. You do. For today's torture, we start with, er, six sides all solid. Then we scramble the colors here. So during that time, I just have to watch and see how she moves the cube. After that, I just do the reverse of her motions, and all six sides will go back to solid colors. I see. Doing such a thing with your visual acuity, it should be no trouble at all. That's right. Just one concern, your highness. And that's whether or not you can memorize all the moves. Who do you take me for? I'm the princess and the th er, commander of the Third Legion of the Imperial Army. And we have a uh, super cute Inky, like, thunking down the cube on the table. Wait for my mark. No touching the cubes until I give the word. Okay, let the torture begin. And they both start. This is so cute. I love this series. It's so adorable. I love it. It's so cute. Oh, and the character art is just amazing. This this full page of Yoki is so cute. And then we have one of Princess, too. I love this. Are they just going to be doing it for forever because neither of them know how? And they're so determined. It's adorable. And now we have him looking at his phone. Oh, that's so cute. With the Mama Hell Lord and, um, Mama Chan wallpaper. Still nothing? Even the Hell Lord gets caught up in the overtime match. <laughs> so cute. I love this chapter. Like, it's so creative. It's so fun and funny. It's so cute and adorable. It's just the best best. I love this. And the characters are so endearing. Ah, oh, I love it. It's just 
it's my favorite. Um, so yeah, I had so much fun with that, and I'm going to move on now to, I think, Excuse Me, Dennis, That's Touching Me is next. We're now at chapter 31 of Excuse Me, Dennis, That's Touching Me. So uh, yeah, let's jump into this, see what we got this time around. You want me to, er, you want me to help you decide on a Father's Day present? I'm fine with that, but you're rather diligent, Mr. Kodosumi. If I don't get or get him something every year, he becomes really obviously sad, and we can't move forward with the clan meeting. Does your old man have something he wants? Eh? My father. Ah, uh, today was just a tiring day as always. The cat's so cute. And we have cross-dressing, uh, father. I forget his name. Whoa, whoa. Wearing something like this once in a while isn't bad. It's convenient when I need to relieve myself. <laughs> what a lame excuse. <laughs> He's just screaming. What's wrong? Did your old man do some... Please don't talk about my father right now. Oh, sorry. No, I'm also sorry for yelling. <laughs> so cute. Now, now that I think about it, you don't talk much about your family, do you? Don't worry. Everybody has something they don't want to talk about. My old man's the head of a Yakuza, and then we just get slam. Don't think that you're the only one who has it hard. On top of being the head of a Yakuza, my old man's wearing his son's nurse outfit. It's fine to wear whatever you want if you aren't bothering anyone. Even I'm wearing clothes that are for younger people than me. Uh, um, but I just can't accept the fact that he wore my nurse uniform. So our old man cross-dresses. You and your father aren't special, or you and your father aren't special, all right. Maybe just a bit too many cavities, though. That said, your father left the dental clinic without having his mouth checked out, so I don't know how bad it actually is. Huh? My old man went to your place? And then she grabs his face. No matter how dirty of a toilet you are, I'll clean the both of you. I want you to only clean me, he says. <laughs> Adorable. So we're going here to find a Father's Day gift. What should I look? What should we look at first? We have toothbrushes designed by dentist and fluoride toothpaste at Pearl Dental Clinic too. What do you think? No, we already have, or we've already made a bulk order of those and left them all around the house. So I'm sure my old man's using one already. Was that a sales pitch? How about a typical gift like alcohol? He becomes a kissing demon, so he's been prohibited from it. How about sweet desserts? He's already conquered all the ones that can be bought in this area. Ah, uh, then how about this skirt? This one goes well with sneakers or heels. He wears traditional clothing and doesn't wear heels. Er, isn't it starting to be stuff you want? She bought so much. Hmm, this is hard. Oh, that's right. Why not think about how your father's been feeling recently? Do you recall anything he's been troubled by? Oh, I see. He's rather timid, so I'm sure there are loads. Now that I think about it, he's been mumbling about some bad dreams recently. Then let's take a look at some stuff that'll help him get a good night's sleep. Yeah, sounds good. I'm not exactly sure, but apparently he's been having dreams about me marrying a crossdresser? <laughs> what's so f or what's with that? That's so funny. I don't really care if that person's a woman or a man, but for me, marrying someone other than you is, um... And of course we get confirmation like people have been talking about, like from the one-shot and everything, that... You know, Takuma doesn't really care. Either way. Feel free to take a rest. Summer sleeping good sale. So cute. Again, best boy slash girl. Freaking love Tamori. So adorable. Oh? Maybe I should say top waifu regardless of gender. He grabs the uh, stuffed dolphin? Fish? I guess just a fish. Please, give that back. Whoa. And pulls him in close. Feel free to take a rest. Er, um, hmm? Hard. And then <laughs> throws him. Eh, huh? Mr. Kurosumi, what are you doing with no warning? I can't believe you. Jeez, you smell sweaty. Am I the perpetrator here? Ah, uh, the scent is... This is it, Mr. Kurosumi. This is the perfect... Er, this is perfect for the two of you. Er, that aroma spray also has an antibacterial effect. It's made from natural ingredients and is gentle on the nose, so 
we recommend it even to those who don't do well with strong scents. And of course it'll help you sleep soundly. Oh, that sounds great. An aroma spray, huh? I never would have thought of it on my own. Thanks. I'm happy to be of help. Hee <laughs> hee. I see. So it's the perfect scent for us. Yep. Smells just like my toilet at home. <laughs> that face. It calms me down so much. Heh. <laughs> you truly are mysterious. <laughs> and I love even the Takuma scar on the toilet face. It's a good deal. You truly are mysterious. When I'm with you, I become vulnerable like when using the toilet. I become free from everything. <laughs> Don't worry laughing. Uh, I feel refreshed for the first time in a while. Recently, I've been having fun hanging around everyone, but I'm not that sadistic to treat everyone like a toilet. This is, er, this is also rather nice since I don't have to be so considerate. It's as if, hey, is something wrong? Ah, uh, no. I just thought that when I'm with you, I feel, er, I have fun like when I'm cleaning toilets. And then, <laughs> my face is so good. I'm glad. It looks like I'll be able to have a good dream tonight. <laughs> this panel is amazing. With the stuffed fish. Please, buy that plush. But was it really alright? Not buying anything for your old man. Hold on. Give me one second here. Giant fish plush is going to be joining the dentist reactions. Alright, so giant fish plush is in this. Let's, let's continue then. Alright, where was I at? Alright, please buy that plush. But was it really alright not buying anything for your old man? Yes, it's fine. Er, sorry, just checking the recording. Um, yes, it's fine. He won't be happy even if I did get him something. He's not that type. Are you sure? Fathers tend to show off in front of their kids. His true feelings may be hidden behind some inexplicably es inexplicable eccentricity or joke. Eccentricity or joke. It's convenient when I need to relieve myself. Now that I think about it... Huh? Why is the boss's pants wet? Takioka, don't wash mine together with my old man's. Old man. Could it be? And then, ultra-thin diapers for men. <gasps> poor, poor Tamori's father. Poor Shinju head guy. For adults. Uh oh, it can't be denied. R.I.P. Poor guy. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah, that is it for this week's, um, excuse me, Dennis, it's touching me reaction. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I think I might, uh, not have time to record anything else today. It's getting kind of late. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next chapter, though. You're gonna see, like, the next chapter in, like, a couple seconds. So, uh, yeah. We are now on to Witch Watch Chapter 25, Dogs and Raindrops, Part 4. Yeah, that's right, Part 4. Um, we're starting off with this really cool looking uh, color cover. We don't usually get those for Witch Watch. I mean, we have occasionally, but this is really, really cool. And it seems a lot more action-y. Like I said before, this current new arc is kind of like a really uh, big change, a big breath of fresh air to the series for right now, so uh, let's see what happens for the next part of this arc. Um, of course we got the uh, Enchanter explanation last chapter and it looks like we're going back to that. The Enchanter's planning to use students addicted to magic drops like puppets and make them attack me. Boy, that sounds like a lot of work. If they want to kidnap me, why not just send that wolf guy? He'd probably be enough. You know, really good point. Because you've got bodyguards, us. I figure Wolf's job is to handle Morihito while the dogs tromp in to nab you. Watch yourself, Morihito. Wolf's strong. Mano a mano, he's probably your match. You took him in a fist fight, choosing to forego the tactics you specialize in, just so you could gauge his strength to help me. Man, kinda so cool. I like that. Also, we learned that Wolf is, you know, actually a werewolf, which is really, really, really cool. No? I uh, was just being stubborn at that point. Didn't expect him to be as good as he was. We do have a chance. Wolf may be confident in a one-on-one -on -one fight, but I suspect he's wary of us teaming up against him. The fact he took on Kanchi alone at first is proof of that. Nico, I need you to back me up with your magic. If Wolf is wise, he'll fear the idea of a witch teaming up with an ogre. You want my help? You've got it. 
Kanchi, you look for the enchanter. Nemu said if we can disable the warlock, it'll break the spell on the dogs. And with no magic boost in them, they're just normal kids. Gotcha, I'll do it. It's Kago! And, uh, he's at the door. Here it is. Wolf's called everyone together. All of the dogs are together at Kojo Park. It won't be long before they head this way. It's starting already? And we see they're basically zombies. Attack! Capture Nico the Witch! Kill the ogre! Oh ho ho? Moi, what do we do? Well, er, why wait for them to come to us? We go to them. Follow the plan just as we laid it out. Capturing and disabling the warlock is top priority. While you do that, I'll do everything I can to protect Nico. I'll take you the er, I'll take you there. Thanks, Kago. Let's move. I love this, and I love that Kago has turned into an actual character too. I really like him. The battle awaits. Oh my gosh, n now I'm getting nervous. This is crazy. We're gonna battle. I'm shaking. Hey, Nico. I wasn't too fond of being born a Tengu. I always wanted to be more normal and stuff, you know? I mean, who needs this dumb power? Yeah. But watching you made me realize something. Power is something we can use to help folk. Man, I love this going back to all the people that she's helped. If you're going to use your powers to help people, then I'm going to use mine to help you. And this is exactly the time to do that. So don't worry, okay? Okay. The moon's suddenly so blurry. Morihito, if things go south and you could err and you get hurt, could Nico's magic heal you? Nico's spell just boosts a person's natural healing. She can encourage fresh wounds to close faster, that's about it. I did ask about your old injury, but apparently that'd require a completely different spell, one that Nico can't use. Whoa, what? Huh. Hold on. When did I say anything about that? I didn't. I wasn't talking about me. I have no regrets about skating anymore. That's ancient history. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, it's up there. See? Oops, and he trips a little. Sorry, shoelace is untied. Go ahead without me. Oh, and it looks like he's stepping on some kind of trap. And then, is that Morihito sinks through? And Keiko goes behind him. Where'd Keiko and Morihito go? Man, are we having traitor Keiko? If so, that's sad. And I didn't see it coming at all. But I do like that, uh, it seemed like he noticed that Morihito thought of him and his, uh, injury. Even without him asking. Oh? Thanks. I appreciate that you trusted me so quickly. If you want to, you know, actually rely on me and stuff, I'd really like to help out. I couldn't let you gang up on me, you know. Especially you and the witch, that'd be real bad. I needed to be absolutely sure I split the two of you up. One on one, I can take you. Keiko Magami, what are you? You're Keiko Magami, yes? What the heck? What have you done to me? Who even are you, dude? So the real one got captured, and this is a fake one, then. Okay, so Keiko probably doesn't have powers. I was going to say, is Keiko Magami? Like, I'm pretty sure, like, a Magami would be some sort of, um, folklorish creature. But no, apparently this is just somebody disguised as him. What have you done to me? Who even are you, dude? Ho ho ho, this body is merely a puppet. The ancient blood in your veins wakes. I'll require your power for a certain plan of mine. Sign a familiar's pact with me. Weird. Familiar's pact? What are you even talking about? I won't ask you to do it for free, of course. I'll grant you one wish, anything your heart desires. I am a witch, after all. And... There is one thing I really desperately want. When a new witch is born, it's a custom to brew a panacea from their umbilical cord. It's a single dose kept for emergency. Once our pact has run its course, I'll give you the dose made for me. So I signed the pact. If the enchanter dies or I disobey your orders, I die. And my orders were to get close to you and make you trust me. You're part of a familiar's clan? Some familiar clans went wild, becoming monsters. Our blood's grown thin. The sight of a full moon making us transform is a thing of the past. Nowadays, werewolves transform when they see crescent moon shapes. Werewolves? Oh? Like how you ogres lost your horns and Tengu lost their wings. We werewolves don't turn into real wolves anymore. 
but we do get wilder and more aggressive and become a completely different person. So Keiko was wolf all along? I guess because Magami is like a wolf um, yokai, isn't it? So, weird. So it was Keigo all along. Weird. I did not expect that at all. It had always been a mystery to me. I'd ask myself why the hell I had this power. But that was a dumb question. Teeth are for biting, claws are for ripping, and strength is for hitting. What? Or is this all you've got, Ogre? So werewolves really are the strongest. And Morihito gets back up. Be wary, child. An ogre's greatest weapon is not brute strength, it's toughness. I assume that's about as much as you did to him. And then he hits back. You don't mind getting hit, do you? And then we end. What a really good chapter. I did not see that twist coming at all. Did not expect Kago to actually be wolf. Um, so yeah, that one's really, uh, really different. But I'm excited to uh, get more into different, like we are, I already mentioned before, we have Oni, we have Tengu, now we have Magami or Werewolf. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what other sorts of fantasy creatures we get into, or fantasy races, species, I'm not sure what to call them. Um, that's something that I'm really looking forward to for the future of the series, if this isn't just the last arc. Uh, but that was really, really fun, and either way, gonna move on now to Ghost Reaper Girl. Now on to chapter 25 of Ghost Reaper Girl, and it kind of feels like Chloe's in a lot of trouble now. We saw last chapter, it seems like a bunch of, um, sort of Arkham's top people are turning on her because of the danger she, uh, she poses to the world at large. And again, I theorize that that's probably for the same reason as, like, the... Oscar Cthulhu stuff that she could potentially be taken over by a really powerful evil spirit or if she did turn evil um, it would be a lot of trouble given that she's really really potentially powerful. Um, so let's see what we get with chapter 25. I'm excited to meet more of these uh, these top, I don't even know what to call them, top agents I guess of Arkham. Um, I'm interested to see more of what they look like. But uh, we have a nice color uh, frontispiece here with Kai. 25 secret. I love little mascot not er Nyarla thought that. We're here Chloe. Starting today this is your new home. Oh my gosh. Okay then. I almost forgot I need to uh read left or right here. Wow. Well hang on it's a freaking mansion. I can really live here? Don't be shy. This is only one of my mansions. Are you made of money? But be on guard. This is a secret mansion removed from the human world. That is to say, you're also under house arrest to keep you out of sight. You've become too much of a public figure. Arkham is a secret society. Many will consider you a threat now. I've confirmed that there are even radicals calling for you to be expelled. Until the heat dies down, you're not to- Eh, a yard? This is the house of my dreams! Are you listening? Anyway, I'll message you the details later. Ciao! Thank you! Thank you, Director! <sighs> Good grief. How carefree can you be? Various agendas are starting to revolve around you as we speak. Also, have you still not noticed? The other reason I isolated you guys. The change in his soul? Now. Will this choice prove to be for good or for ill? And then Kai looks down at his hand. Kai? Ah, uh, sorry. I got lost in thought. Come, er, come on, you guys. Let's check out the house. Great idea. Let's go exploring. And he's still looking at his hand. Again, I'm assuming it has something to do with him coming into contact with um, Oscar slash Cthulhu again. Jeez, how many rooms does this house have? The kitchen looks like it's built for a pro. Even the backyard is an enormous garden. It's all so, er, so luxurious I can't relax. Oh well, let's drink. Times like this call for beer. The director called it house arrest, but it feels more like I've been, been reincarnated as an aristocrat. Reincarnated in another world, meow. I live the slow life. I know, we should invite, er, invite Shogi and the gang over. And Mr. Pants and Mr. Scar, too. It'd be fun to have a party with everyone. I wish these moments could last forever. 
and he smiles. Thanks. You're always saying that meeting me changed your life, but it's the same for me. You make me happier than I deserve. I appreciate it, Chloe. What brought that on? Jeez, can I knock it off? You're making me blush. And then, Noelle's noticing something's up. Man, I love the art. Where am you off to in the middle of the night? Noelle. Man, that panel's really good. Or two panels, rather, both of their faces there. You've been acting funny since this afternoon. No, maybe ever since we met that Oscar guy. You wouldn't be planning to betray your master and go to him, would you, Kai? Just, er, for just a cat, you're annoyingly percept er, perceptive sometimes. If you're going to make Chloe sad, I'll stop Mew by force if I have to. Tonight, I was only going on patrol, though. What? But patrol? Still using force? That might not be such a bad idea. Want to test your strength against me? Kai, what are you... And he cuts. Or it looks like he cuts him. Of course, I'm Team Noel, because he's like my favorite character. Kai, Noel. You've done it now. I don't know why, but ever since that day we fought Oscar, my former power's been returning. A power so pitch black I can't control it. It can't be. The soul pulses. The same as when I descended into madness. Kai... What did Oscar do to Mew in that fight? You know as well as I do that Chloe doesn't need power like this at her side. I leave Chloe in your care, Noel. Oh man, getting cliffhung here and now I have to wait before I read the next one. I mean, technically I don't have to, but I'm recording these in order of when I'm posting them, so... So I gotta go read Candy Flurry now. But dang... I'm so excited to get to the next chapter. Well, either way, that was really, really, really good. And I'm assuming he's not actually going to leave. I'm assuming that Chloe, since we saw that she was kind of waking up, I think she's probably going to interrupt. But uh, I guess we will have to wait and see. Uh, See so yeah, next, moving on to Candy Flurry. All right, we've got Candy Flurry Chapter 15. So, uh, yeah, again, just sort of finishing up, moving on toward the end, which is a big big bummer because the series is so good but uh let's just see where we go we've got the eda senpai fight now Alrighty, now time to get serious chapter 15 winterscape so cool there's nothing you can do now and of course all of the attacks get frozen gum's not sticky when it's frozen and then she just crushes it we have the other guy going in for his attack Oh. And. What the heck? Sorry. I can still do other things even if my gum is frozen. Sorry, just trying to follow this. Fight here. You're a quick one, aren't you? But at this point, it's not about changing or adjusting your attacks. Because I'm on another level. And we just have this... Massive, massive explosion of ice cream. I thought I'd have to make a move if Idie Senpai was in trouble, but... Jeez, just buried the place. Hey, are you okay? Ugh. Can you move your arms and legs? You're freezing, right? What about it? Me too. You too. I can only keep this up for three to four minutes, because I get frostbite and can't move. And then, of course, Gum Guy tries to attack again. But she just swats it away. She's different somehow. How big is the gap between us? You only ate the generic kind. What are you talking about? No more blizzards, or else they'll die. And the, uh, sort of boxing guy now has hostages. We don't have the luxury of playing around. We gotta do whatever it takes to kill the five Stella, er, Stella Entreme. It's him. I thought he was out cold downstairs. See these hostages? They were students stuck in the rubble who didn't get out in time. That's pretty cowardly. Whatever. We have a friend who's on the verge of death, too. Don't make a move. If you do, I'll kill them. I won't hesitate. Kill? Huh. Are your friends important to you? Of course. So do you understand those hostages are important to someone, too? That's got nothing to do with me. 
Have you ever considered what people go through when someone important to them dies? No. I've thought about how. And then she thinks about her family. If I, er, if I should ever recall the fun times, I'd become sad and weepy. Without a proper goodbye, memories of a person get a little sadder. Don't you get it? Uh, well, if my friends were gone... No, no, no way. You're trying to trick me. I'm not handing over the hostages. I see. I couldn't appeal to his humanity. What? Why, you... All right. Do whatever you want. You're a good loser. Er, you're a good loser. It's fine. I've only worked this hard for the sake of others. We're not going to hold back. Can you hear me? Most of the students have evacuated. The ones who are hurt are unconscious. Tsumugi. So of course, Sag, nobody's going to be able to see what you do. Got it. And then she comes in. It's my turn now. Again, the art is great. The dialogue's great. Everything about this is great. So it's just a shame knowing that, like, it's going to be over in three, four more chapters. Ah, uh, so yeah, I suppose that is it for Candy Flurry. And is that the end? I think it's the end of, yeah, part one. So with that done with, I guess I'm going to uh, go ahead and record part two directly after this. But thank you for watching. Like, if you like the video, comment down there too. Tell me what you thought of these chapters or my thoughts and reaction. Uh, subscribe for more of all this, much more on the channel. Follow on Twitter if you want. If you want a link to the Discord server, just ask and I'll give you one. And um, if you want to help support the channel on Patreon, it is patreon.com slash Haku of the Tubes, or a link will be in the description. But either way, that is it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.